Hi everyone, welcome back with another video of Excel tutorial series. In this video, we will see what is Excel Formula Bot and how you can use it to increase your productivity. Excel Formula Bot is an AI powered tool which you can use to increase your productivity. You can generate formulas for simple as well as complex problems for you. So, to set it up, you need to go to the website excelformulabot.com. So you just need to click on this login button. So it will open a new page for you where you can actually log in to your account or you can just sign up. So if you don't have an account, just click on this. Don't have an account. So it will open up a sign up page for you. You can also see the testimonials uh, on Twitter as well, like struggling to use MS Excel. So Excel Formula Board can help you. Many people have suggested this AI tool because it's really handy. So you can see the testimonials on LinkedIn and Twitter that everyone is talking about this new sensation. So just when you come on to this, you just need to enter your name, email and password. Click on this and you just need to create an account. So I have already created an account, so I'll just log into my account and I will show how the dashboard looks like. So here's the dashboard of Excel Formula Bot. It's pretty much simple. Here you can see that you can generate formulas. You can ask it to perform basic tasks. So I will just click on the formula tab. So you can see you can activate seven days free trial as well. So here you can see that it's asking is the request for Excel or Google Sheet because it can provide the uh, solution for Google Sheets as well. I just click on Excel and then it's asking do you want to generate a formula or have formula explain. I will click on generate. Uh, you can also choose the explain option because it can explain the formula for you. So here I will give my instructions. So basically, so I will come on to my Excel sheet. So here you can see I have to apply VLOOKUP function in MS Excel. So here's the name of the employees, the date of joining and salary. So in the next sheet, in the sheet number two, I want to fetch the salary of the employee from the main data set. So to do so, I need to give instructions to my uh, Excel formula board. So let's see how you can actually uh, give the instructions and it can generate a formula for you. I'll just paste my instruction here as, and I will explain what this instruction means. It's saying that find salary column C. So when I go to the sheet one, it's saying find salary column C in sheet one. So when I come to my sheet one, you can see that in the sheet one salary is column C. So I specify the column like column C, salary is column C in sheet one from name. Name means uh, from name, column A in sheet two, because name is column A in sheet two. So when I give this instruction, the AI will understand it and it will generate a VLOOKUP formula for me. I will just click on submit. It will take some time to load the formula along with the explanation. So you can see that it gave me the formula of VLOOKUP and it's explaining the formula as well. So I will just copy this formula and I will come back to my Excel sheet and I will just try to implement this formula here. I will paste my formula here and we'll see how this formula works for me. I'll just paste it here and I will press enter. So it gave me the salary for John Doe. Let me confirm whether it's 50,000 or not. So yeah, it is 50,000. So I will just drag this formula to the entire uh, data. And Tom Smith has 55,000. I'll confirm it. Tom Smith 55,000. Yeah, it's good. Bob Lee 45,000. So Bob Lee is 45,000. It's giving correct value. Jack Smith, 53,000. And Kevin Davis, 59,000. So I'll confirm it. Jack Smith, 53. And Kevin Davis, 59,000. So yeah, it solved the problem for me in quite an efficient manner. So coming on to the next example. It is a complex example. 
and it's basically custom created. Suppose if you are working as a manager, let's say HR manager in your office and there are some employees which are absent for some reason and they provided the reason like there are five employees and they provide the reason for their absentee. As an HR manager, I actually have to approve or reject this leave because of this reason. So, here is a criteria that if the reason contains fever or COVID, then it is approved, otherwise it is rejected. So, I will try to generate a formula by using Excel formula bot. So, I will come back to my Excel formula bot and I will try to give it an instruction. So, I'll just paste my instruction because I had already written it down. So, I will paste my instruction here. I'm saying, if column B contains, column B is this one. You can see reason for absent contains COVID or fever, then approved, else it's rejected. So, I will click on Submit and it will load up the formula for me. You can see it has created a really complex formula for me. If I had written it manually, so it would have taken a lot of headache and a lot of time. So, it saved a lot of time for me actually. So, I will just come back into my Excel sheet and I will try to implement this formula here. I will just paste the formula here and I will hit Enter. So, you can see that it's rejected because it doesn't contain fever or COVID and for the next one it's approved because it contains the keyword of COVID so the third one it's also approved because it's containing fever so the fourth one it's rejected because it doesn't contain fever or COVID and the last one is approved because it contains the keyword of COVID as you can see that Excel Formula Bot has made it quite easier for us to solve simple as well as complex problems. So if I had written these formulas manually, it would have taken a lot of time and effort for me and it would have been quite painful as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.